How the guys, Jack here from Pure Creative Designs, and I am back with another video. Now, um, I haven't been making videos for a while now, but uh, it's because I've been leading up to something. I've been trying to come up with a design of like a website that I can show you how to add a few things in bits and bobs, and this is what I came up with. It's like it's quite a basic design, but I thought what it'll do is for my first ever web series, it's going to be quite a few. Uh, but for my first ever web series, I thought I'd go for quite a basic modern design. Okay, now I'm going to talk you through it straight away. In the header side here, we just have a logo that I created. Don't even ask why the hell it looks like that. I do not know. I just designed it, and I was like, right, I'm using that. Okay. Now I have the icons over the side here. Click them, and they roll over, so they go from black, to black and white, to a nice color. Looks good. MySpace in there. Don't know what it's doing in there. The L uses that, but not going to go into it. Not going to go into it. Next up is the um, navigation bar. Now we have a uh, home tutorials download about and contact. Add wherever you want into there. All I'm showing you is how to make the index page, as you can see here. Now the home is obviously on a down image um, to show you which website it's or page you are on. Now this is a very nice feature to the actual uh, website itself. This is the Nevo slider, okay, and this is probably one of the best JavaScript sliders you'll get on the slideshow that you'll get out there on the web. Um, as you can see, it's very nice. You have the buttons, obviously, like so. You have the captions. Uh, this is a jQuery slider, by the way. Uh, you have the captions, and we also have these little buttons down the bottom here. If you watch them, that's the active link and the um, unactive link, as you could say. Uh, if you watch, and they have very nice transitions as well. So as you can see, these are all clickable as well. And I think it's probably uh, one of the best. Um, def well, I would say it's the best slide uh, slideshow out there that you can have for your website. It works very well. Uh, in any browser. Now we have just this blue uh, gradiency type coloured uh, with the ad with the noise here. Now if we scroll down we have the actual main area here. The first one is we have like an article, um, so we roll over links, image, uh, quite a nice image, um, and read more. Uh, if you're wondering what the hell this is, uh, this is a Latin, it's Laura Nipsom. Uh, I think it's Latin. If I'm wrong then I'm just going to look pretty stupid right now, but what it is, is it's made just to fill the way you'd actually write text. So say if you're talking about the area, area uh, I can't even speak, what the hell am I chatting now? Alienware Area 51 ALX, okay? If you were talking about this as an article, you would actually write in here what you'd want, okay? So this is just false text, it's been used for a long time. And Laura Ipsum, Laura and Ipsum, sorry, is is used in web design a lot for just filling space of where text would go. Next up, like all this is uh, put off with uh, these little spacer spacer type things, look quite nice. Uh, YouTube video, just thought I'd put one of them in there to show you how to insert them. This is going to be for quite. This is quite a beginner's guide to websites in Dreamweaver itself. There's not many nice ones out there on the internet, and I thought I'll try get to the quite basic one that anyone can follow along. Next up is the exact same again. Now this side on the side here, this side on the side here, God, bad English there. This section on the side of the main area here is where you would have maybe a law, um, law I was about to say law Nipson, where you maybe have advertisement, okay? I haven't shown any advertisement in here at the minute, um, I don't think I really need to, but if you do know how to, uh, or you do have a Google AdSense account, you can add advertisement down the side here. Whatever you want, it's just air for space. You can add whatever you want, maybe even some latest news categories. Okay, and then at the bottom, just the spacer, and then we have a nice little shadow at the bottom, just to make this website just pop off the page. So that is it for this. Um, you can go over to my first part of creating this, and that's going to be a Photoshop thing. And this is what it's going to look like in Photoshop when you finish. This is the whole design ready to go into Dreamweaver. Okay, I'm going to show you how to go over everything, and get this looking like this. And as you can see, it's quite nice. We generally design everything here, and then we'll bring it into Dreamweaver. Um, now, uh, a little one, and people may be like, "Oh, why Dreamweaver?" I will be coding, so Dreamweaver is not going to be helping me out much. Okay, so um, I'm trying to make this so it's for everyone. So uh, most people can follow along. It is coding. There isn't really anything specific to. Uh, Dreamweaver, but if you use anything else, you probably could follow along. Now this is it inside of Dreamweaver. It's looking pretty good. All code view. It's all coded out. Okay, and um, I use like a main for all where the CSS goes. Everything. Okay, and uh, it's it's quite nice. I think that we can get on with this, and uh, we should make some very nice tutorials. So thanks for watching, guys. See you.